Prior to the release of the heist, GTA Online was a very basic game. Not as basic and bare bones as Red Dead Online launched, but it wasn't too far. The game existed out of contact missions and a couple of types of PvP modes. And while there was a lot of them that could be played, and most of them were a lot of fun to play too, the DLCs that followed weren't really anything like we're getting today. There were small themed updates that typically added one or two new cars, some new deathmatches and some races, a new weapon, and that's basically it. Most of the time, the biggest changes were to come in the fixes and the features that were added in the update itself, in a way that still happens today. We're band together and form a crew. Heist. heist was something that was promised to come to the game as early as August 15th of 2013 in the gameplay trailer for GTA Online. Unfortunately, it wasn't until March 2015 that it finally came out. The reason for this as said by developers was pretty simple. Heist never really worked out the way that they wanted. It went through many different versions until they finally settled on what it finally became. Five different heists with a story to go with in the background. And when it did... It changed GTA Online forever. I know you've been complaining, but you weren't ready. In the previous DLCs, there were no stories, no cutscenes, aside from Martin screaming about his golf addiction, or Gerald giving you that look as if he's debating whether he should buy you dinner or shoot you in the head. As far as we know by now, it was dinner because nearly seven years later, he sends you text messages for his new missions instead of calling you. Talk about holding a grudge. Jokes aside though, Heist really was one of the big turning points for GTA Online. No longer were they basic missions that could easily be completed solo because you've done them a billion times. Most of the missions actually required you to work as a team. Which also means that until this day you still get prison break invites and the majority of the player base never got to complete all the original Heist. And sure, nowadays you look at the old Heist and think, that's easy. But back then we didn't have all the toys we have today. The only act of mercy that we had from the Rockstar Gods was the armored Kuruma. And you bet everyone was abusing the living crap out of that thing. Especially with arguably the biggest and the best thing about the original heist, the Criminal Mastermind Challenge. Better known as the quickest and easiest 10 million you ever make in GTA Online. Because all you had to do was complete all the heists on hard, in order, with the same team. And with the armed Karuma to be able to use in basically all of the heists, it was quite a breeze. Well, almost. Talk about holding a grudge. 10 million nowadays might not seem like a lot of money, but back then the highest paying activity was contact missions with a whopping $115,000 per hour. And the most expensive vehicle with the release at the highest was the Hydra at 3 million. So I think you can imagine how big of an impact 10 million had back then. Personally, I took the opportunity to keep that 10 million and use it in the future, and I haven't dipped under 10 million since. Well, okay, apart from that one time that the Lowriders DLC came out and they spent 17 million on a variety of cars. And while you could argue that the high star essentially glorified contact missions, especially back then, this was far from the case. Heist came out during a time where GTA Online was in the decline, and pretty rapidly too. Players were leaving in the thousands because content simply wasn't interesting enough and the people were just simply grew tired of waiting for the heist to actually come out. But when heist finally did come out, it really gave a sense of completing missions as a team. It wasn't every man, woman or attack helicopter for itself, it required you to work together as a team. Arguably the best example of this is the final setup of the Humane Labs raid. When you first started it, you were really trying to work together in two teams of two to take out two targets at the same time. It took many attempts when I personally did it for the first time, but once my team finally did it, it felt really rewarding. And then there was the Series A with the yacht and the trash pickup missions, the heist finales themselves, and of course the highlight of it all, robbing Pack Standard itself. I still remember the very first time that I did it. We lost so much money that we couldn't even lose anymore. 
We grew frustrated and annoyed as the bikes seemed to just only get us killed. We tried using street cars, which didn't seem to work either, so we got desperate and we tried to drive all the way back to my apartment to see if we could use my personal vehicle which ended up not being able to take passengers, so everyone had to get their own personal vehicle. In the end, after many hours, the heists were finally beaten, and it was one of the GTA Online moments I'll never forget. It really challenged you to think outside the box and find a way to get through it. That was until people figured out that you could use your armored Kuruma in the finale, and then it just simply became easy mode. Until they patched it out, that is. And of course, later on the line with the Doomsday and the Casino Heist, Rockstar really evolved the heist even further in my opinion. But it basically was a sequel to the original heist, so it didn't really have the same kind of impact as the original did. So here is hoping that they will evolve it even further in the next DLC or in GTA 6. But those are just some of my thoughts about the original heist. Of course, I would love to know what you think down in the comments down below. Are you someone who played the heist originally when they came out? Or are you someone who tried to play them later? Or are you one of those poor, poor people who still hasn't got past prison break after all these years? Of course, I'd love to know all your wonderful stories in the comments down below. But with all that said, and with all that done, that was it for this one. Thank you all so very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all later.